Oh! Recording now, live in the flesh. Hey guys, Shaggy here, Ray here, yeah, G, you know, welcome back to another GTA 5 car show. Today we have the air intake slots, the titanium valve train, that big, thick, naturally inspired engine. Yes, this is the third post. And let's be honest, it's working. Eligible for customization. We've got the Obey 10F. Finally, this is the one car I've been wanting to showcase since this DLC came out. It's 1.67 million. Not too bad. I'm quite surprised at the price. I thought it'd be more expensive than this already from the picture. It looks... All right, there it is. The Obey 10F in complete stock version. Let's take a closer look. Okay. Oh, we've got a playlist being hosted by West Dono. Oh, and what we're showcasing this car. What great timing. Right. That's unfortunate. We're going to have to join the next one. In terms of the look, just a very aggressive upgrade from the 9F. It's got that extremely quick feel to it, even though I haven't even driven it yet. The rims look quite slick. I'm liking that rotary on the design. Okay, let's look at the interior here. Looking at it from the outside, looking pretty slick indeed. Get inside. Nice. Okay. Flames coming out with the drill exhaust on both sides. Rear wheel drive, I like that. Some hope. Okay. Feels quite loose indeed. Yes, quite responsive. Similar feels to the 9F, but a little bit quicker, which I like to see. Not as snappy as the 9F, because it's got a little bit more traction, it already feels like. Such high speeds, oh. Coming through. Oh, this feels great. This is a great addition already. I can tell it's going to be a great car, especially for racing. This feels so good. To oh, look at that sound. That max gear as well. Oof. Brake boost is dangerous, I must say. I like that little spoiler flap on the rear going in and out. I like the mechanism. Hey, welcome to how special works. Howdy. Okay. I'm going to keep this car for the long term, so let's go with the armor. Brace brakes. <laughs> Plenty of bumper options. Here we go. Okay. Carbon splitter. Slick. Carbon secondary, we've got the forged, we've got the secondary forged, carbon winged splitter. Okay, now we're talking monstrous design here. Forged, a bit of uh, street, forged carbon there as well. Okay, got a carbon super splitter, that's nice. That's crazy, okay, okay, I like this. That's a, that's a bit too much going on here. I like it when it's connected, not particularly this one, but there was one where it there we go. This is quite close to it. But I'm sure there was one. I see. This is the only remotely. Okay. Okay. I like to go. I'm going to go with this one a bit. The carbon there. Where is it? That's the one. And then. Rhea. Okay. It's a stock one. Keep an eye on that smoke's getting in the way. Let's get this angle. Diffuser to leak. Completely get rid of it. Use the exhaust. That looks a bit naked. Okay, that is ridiculously that that just doesn't that doesn't that doesn't look right. That just looks like a some animal's butthole. But carbon mid uh, fins here. We have got the uh, forge with a carbon fuser, forged, a bit extravagant, a bit of uh, out of proportion to the front options. But uh, I guess we'll just go with the flow. Okay, we've got several designs here. This more simple race diffuser makes sense. These are all a bit drastic. See by the side extensions there. So we'll just go with the carbon race diffuser. Makes sense. And then that's that for the bumpers. Engine, your EMS4 exhaust, titanium with aluminium. Too much, there's so much smoke coming out of that. Aluminium infinity, 
get this angle going so you can see. It's very hard to see in this. Okay. Uh, titanium carbon. Okay, there's plenty of options here. I'm going to have to go with uh, carbon infinity. And then grill, we've got the carbon canards. Wait, let me see the stock. Okay, and they got two. A secondary color, actually. Primary, and then got that. Oh, this is nice design, actually. The vertical vent, I like that. So let's keep that in mind. Oh, that's the fin. Okay, that's a bit crazy. I like the vertical. Definitely the most simple feel here. Go with the carbon. Actually, no. Hmm. Primary makes more sense because it makes it more visible and more aggressive. With the hood, carbon hood, forged. Ooh, I like this design. The ridge line hood. Oh, okay, you got a carbon hood vent. Nice, nice, nice. R spec. Okay, that is that is mad. Okay, R spec looks absolutely amazing. Okay, with a primary performance, decent. Standard there. Race hood. Okay. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Plenty of options here. But what was the one I was gonna choose? The uh R spec, wasn't it? Yeah, go with that one. And then for the lights. Not too fussed about that at the moment. You've got light livery options. So you got the stripes, black stripes, okay. Then you got the tricolor, bit of uh all sorts of stripe designs going there, okay. Got a Kizama sponsored Jackal Racing, got the German half camo. Okay. Plenty of options there. Interesting. Where's the Sri Lankan one? Right, moving on to the mirrors. We've got the primary, carbon. And we've got the forged. I think I'm going to go with the primary there. It will make more sense. Plate. Let's say no more. Respray. Keep it like this, but go with a little bit of a pearlescent. Wait, what? No, sorry. Melia. That's it. Oi. Red pole looks really nice with this. Oh, wait, let me move the camera even further. Only show me the back. Gold pearl. Plenty of options here. Well, I like I like the red pearl. Let's go with that. Okay, what secondary colours we got here? Oh, that's for the actual calipers. Nice. I'm gonna have to go with uh, decent red ones. But I'll go with the uh, Torino red. Well, lava red, maybe, or blaze red. Go with the lava red. Nice combo there. Then we got the trim color. Make it all black. And then root, bin, primary. Okay. Carbon. Got the primary race. Interesting. But I think we go with the carbon fin there. And then. The yeah, whole entire roof can be changed. Interesting. Inset roof. I like that. Got the ridge line roof. And then. Oh, that's it. Let's see. Ridge line or inset. I'll go with the inset to be fair. Okay, now we're talking. I'm not a fan of the uh, roof fin. So keep that stock. And then give more of depth and feel to the actual roof. I don't know. Inset or ridge line? Let's have a look. Ridge line. Uh, nah, inset. Go. Bit indecisive here. Eh? All right, side panels. Oh, okay. So that's stock. That's primary color. And that's forged. So have a go with that. The stock panel. Or we go with a primary. What do you think? All the same. Nah, we we'll go with the stock. Then the skirts. Right, so that's the stock. That's carbon skirts. A little bit of extension there, and we got the secondary. Furthermore, of an okay, that's just forge. Sorry. Here we go. That's a little bit of a wing there. Forged. 
That's a bit of a drastic rice option there. I'm not sure that'll be great on the curbs or bumps. Uh, so we keep keep it very simple here. Don't want to make it too extravagant. Where is the extension bit? Good go. Well, hold on, wait a minute. It was carbon, that's it. Simple there. Little bit extension, but look, it's, it's quite subtle, so you don't notice a significant difference. Right, ducktail, carbon forged. Primary flat, interesting. Okay, now we're talking full, full ducktail makes more sense to me. Uh, this one uh, I'm not a fan of, and then you've got the rising options. All sorts here. So, okay, this is crazy. Bloody hell. Where was the uh, one before the this one? Yep, there we go. Going to be primary or carbon? We'll have to go with the... Uh, hmm. Off choice here, good carbon ash. That's down force. Competition, transmission, turbo, wheels. We're gonna keep it stock. I quite like that to be fair. Oh, wait. Item fitted already. Oh, there's a, oh. These go well with it, to be fair, the high end, but. I can't change the color, can I? Nah. Make it bulletproof. And then, windows. Complete limo. And then that's all she wrote. Okay, there you go. There's the fully customized Obey 10F. It's my version. What do you guys think? Feel free to uh, let me know what your version looks like. What sort of options you got. This is a nice angle. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, zoom in and... Uh, wow. Amazing. Thumbnail right there. Thumbnail right here. Thumbnail right here. There and there. There. Someone's taking that. Oh, I thought someone was taking a selfie, but they're taking that. A picture of the car in front was a massive ass wheels. Look at that rice stop car next to mine. Wow. Let's leave, shall we? This looks nice. Check this out. I, I, I really like the design of this and the options given. You have a lot to play around with. This just looks absolutely immaculate. The graphics and just the way it's been designed. You can tell there's been a lot of effort going into this. They've got it just right in terms of proportions and depth. They haven't gone crazy with the options. They kept it to uh, a rational state of uh, mind compared to the recent cars released and the options they've given that. It's just crazy. It's more of a creative aspect, but this is more of a realistic, serious approach for the car enthusiasts. Let's get it. Yo, coming through. Oh my. Feels great. I mean, this is stock wheels. You can imagine the decent grip you can get without. Just like a decent set of tires. Oh my. Oh, this will be great to race with. The brake boosting and just the general, oh wow. Brakes are instant. Tell the car would wanna just oversteer like that. You can shoot it straight away with its rear, with a little bit of R1 handbrake shifting and you're gonna instantly get a decent turning circle, high speeds. This is just perfect. A really well balanced car. Oh, oh, approach it, that's it. Oh my. This is so, so good for control and grip balance. Oh, yes. Let's go. You know what the drill is. Oh, this is beautiful. Just look at that. Okay, I could have the landing a little bit better than that. But, um, wow. Amazing. 
This is just crazy good, man. The short shifts, he kicks it. Oh, the speed. The air time, it's light, it's got grip, it can snap. If the driver has full control over its traction. This is what I like to see in terms of a new car being released. It's been a while, in my opinion. It's been a while for me as well. I'm just playing the game in general, but it's coming back. This is like old school release. Like, you know when there's an release or Turismo release? And you had that feel of like, do you know what? It's fun, man. It's fun to drive. The excitement of a new car release. And do you know what? I want to explore for. This is sick. Beautiful. Oh! Oh! He's dead. Is he dead? I got the. I got that perfectly right. But my guy. Oh, I'm so sorry, Doctor Dre. I am so. That is just on. I got it perfect. I got it perfect the first time. But he had to make that right turn. My bad, man. R.I.P. Yo. Great boost. This feels great. Let's try this perspective. Oh wow. This is close up as hell. Oh, the way the way it makes the sound when it kicks in the final gear, when you're hitting that brake boost. Wow. It gets, it gets quite a bit airtime on bumps at such a because it's generating so much power. It's gonna be tricky with the brake. Oh. Best person a bit. Let's fix this car, shall we? All right. Ten of sports car? Jeez. The sports. I thought it would be a super. How would this do against the Italian GTO? Oh. The way it hits the max gear and the way it just responds to the brakes. Look at this. This is just crazy with the traction. Oh. This is the demonstration of complete freedom. Oh, oh, did you really hit that? Somebody clip that. Oh, this is classic drifting. Yo, come on, somebody clip that. Oh, the mid drive speed boosts. In the parking lot. Making a ruckus. No one's made a complaint yet. Oh, boy. Beautiful stuff, man. Oh my god, this is crazy, man. When you all oh, one hand break this. Oh. Oh. Come on. I made my own little drifting suck here. Keep it together. It's a tricky one. Oh. oh my god, to the back alleys. Back alley, back alley, back alley, back alley. Yo! Oh my. That was super fun. I can enjoy this um, pretty much all day driving it, but I tell you what. This is just a work of art. Whoever's uh, whoever's got their hands on this as a dev, you've blessed it. You've got it just right, in my opinion. I haven't tried it racing yet, but I tell you what, it'll, I have a feeling it's going to be great. I'm trying to hit that break. 
Let's max speed this. Beautiful. That array just sticks out just a general like similar characteristics to the 9F. Just a lot more speed, a lot more grip. A lot more versatility. Wow. Unbelievable. Full speed here. I don't know how far we're gonna go with this until we collapse, but I'll keep going. A bit of air time over the car. Oh, never mind, that was a Jeep. If it was a car, I would have definitely went over it. Oof, that brake boost. Slide it in, nope, frame, frame lag, what? Oh, I've got a nice section coming up here. Let's see this bit. Come on, here we go, throw it in. Oh my, oh, and the brake boost, and slide it in. Oof. This is just a roller coaster ride. Oof. What's this? Another big career. Where is this? Oh my god. Some sort of a warehouse. Oh. They're dead. Why would you design such a. Okay. What goes in there? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Alright. That was useless. Goodness. We keep going. It's just I'm having so much. Oh my god! That was sick. You really can have so much fun with this R1. <laughs> Yo, could you imagine someone just filming this from the other side and just seeing these close encounters, near death experiences? It's just. Oof. Got the uh, ricochet on that. Oh. That's tight. Oh my. That was so tight. Bloody hell. That fella's thinking, raw. Oh, he is shook. Oh, he's actually. Oh, he's, he's speed boy. He's shot himself. But anyway, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed that showcase. This car is immaculate, meticulously well made in all, all perspectives, in, in and out. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Who up? Are you for real? This guy looks very vexed indeed. And, uh, wow. Okay. Look at him! <laughs> Yo, what the? They really go over the detail with NPCs in this for some reason. I don't know. It's significantly different. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you guys did, be sure, to, if you guys did enjoy it, sorry, be sure to drop a like, subscribe for more. Show you. So I'm not gonna peace. Yeah! Keen to try this and race it.